happy Monday. Happy Monday, guys. So I'm taking you on running. I'm running some errands and I want to talk to you guys. I just left from opening up a brand new business bank account. Let me know if you can hear me. But what I wanted to do is talk to you guys about why I'm doing this. I'm trying to get better at just like showing you guys a little bit of my everyday and some of the things I'm, I'm going through. And when I teach you guys, I talk to you about certain things. I want you to know why. So I just got done opening up a new business. <laughs> this guy's like trying to talk to me while I'm on my live. I just opened up a brand new business bank account. Now you guys are probably liking guys, look, get a notebook, get a pen because why I'm on here, I tell you guys always to have at least three business bank accounts. So let me explain it. If you are a brand new business owner, brand new entrepreneur, um, brand new investor, then you may not have a need for multiple bank accounts, but all of you wealth warriors on your hello somebody multi-millionaires multi-billionaires breaking generational cycles of poverty and building and scaling your business eventually you will get to the point where you may need more now guys i just got done doing pnc um i have citizens i have a couple of other ones but let me explain why so the nugget here always have you can have more than one business bank account in the very beginning here goes a chase over here in the very beginning you don't necessarily need that but there's a reason why so what three bank accounts do you need i always tell my investors my entrepreneurs um just anybody who is doing business to have three bank accounts one big national big bank like you know a bank of america like a, a can you guys see that at chase hey hello hey y'all wealth warriors um then i always tell you guys to have a mid-level bank that's like you know where i just left right a citizens a pnc a regions a td something of that nature right and then i tell you guys to have like a credit union right so a navy federal philadelphia tr um true mark you know citadel something of that nature now why the different bank accounts the different kinds of banks guys they all have pros and cons you use them at different times for different things okay so i just got a couple of things that i'm at my at pnc you guys see and then i'm also um i have a, a couple of other businesses i have nonprofit. my mouth is so dry oh my gosh and then I also have, um, you know, my minor accounts for my children, all those different things. Now, the other thing I wanted to say to you guys is that we network. Y'all, y'all are really like running errands with me. Um, we network with personal and we network with our family and our friends and all those things that we don't network with businesses. Guys, I always, always, always high level nugget is I build relationships with, with my lenders, especially the ones, guys, that I can go in person. So if y'all remember, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit older, right? I'm, I'm in my 40s. So if y'all remember Cheers, right? Cheers, everybody knows your name. So come on, somebody, if y'all remember the movie, the, um, the, the show Cheers. Well, with my bank guys, they always, like the banks where I can actually physically walk in, I always keep a bank where I can physically walk in, meaning that I know the branch manager, I know the tellers, I know the, um, you know, the, the business banking people. Guys, it has served me well. So whenever there's a problem, whenever I need something looked at, whenever I need financing or funding, like literally I just left PNC, they're like, do you want a business line of credit? Do you want a business credit card? Do you need a business loan? And I just... Like literally just open up these accounts today. Now, why am I doing it? I, first of all, PNC has a business line of credit that I've heard about, but I do not have. And I believe that the, um, but the credit score is high. I think you need like a 720. Right now I'm filling them out, but also because I've relocated and my citizens, I, I have a citizens around here, but there were some things I liked and some things I didn't like. So I'm like, y'all, I'm going to start driving. Um, there's some things I like and some things I didn't didn't like. And so I kind of moved it, moved it over and diversified. So the takeaways for you guys, number one, you can have more than one business and bank account. I recommend you have more than one business bank account and be strategic about the kinds of business bank accounts that you have, right? So big national bank, regional bank, credit union. You use them at different times for different things. They all have different pros and cons. And guys, I always tell you that the regional banks, the citizens, the PNCs, all of those things, they actually have a ton of money. Somebody say ton of money. They have a ton of money for um, small business owners, for um, investors, for all of those things. I have to turn on my, uh, so I can't stay on the live and put on my seatbelts. I'm going to have to get off. But I wanted to tell you guys, number one, I practice what I preach. Number two, I want to show you guys some of the benefits. And number three, I want to tell you that this is one of the ways that I get approved for whatever type of funding that I need at any time because I use my bank strategically and I leverage those relationships. And, you know, there's more, that, there's more that goes into getting approved for funding and growing your business than just filling out an application. When they know your name, when, they're, when they do business with you, they see your face, when all of your stuff is in order, that you can get things 
things done. And mind you, I was able to email everything in advance and then just go in and sign my paperwork. Why? Because I have my EIN, I have my articles of incorporation, I have my um, operating agreement, all of those things. So literally all I had to do was go in, sign some things, and then they spoke to me. Also, next, next level, high level nugget guys, you know, they have merchant services and they have like, you know, paycheck systems. So you guys know I always use, hold on, I have to put this phone down and put my, my, uh, my seatbelt on. Hold on, y'all. Oh my gosh, and I have to go get some gas. What in the nonsense? Y'all see my real life for real, y'all. I'm running around today. So, um, so real quick, high level nugget too. You guys know I always talk about payment processors, Stripe, PayPal, um, Stripe, PayPal, and Square. Well, I just left PNC Bank and they're like, hey, we have merchant services too. So I said to them, I said, well, what percentage is your merchant services? Because I have merchant services already and they're like 1.5, 1.9. So she was like, well, we're like 2.9, but double check that rate because that seems really, really low. If we can beat their rate, we'd love to have your service. Now, why is that important to you guys? Because literally when you start having them compete for your business, they'll start offering you other things. I said, well, one reason why you stripe a lot is because they have working capital. She said, we have Clover, we have working capital and we can do your invoices and we can do this so while I'm opening up my bank accounts they have me on speakerphone with merchant services trying to outdo who I currently use to win my business guys and mind you I just built this relationship with them so high level takeaway number one have a business bank account it confirms your business is legitimate it helps you qualify for other funding and you can use it strategically number two you can 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 have multiple bank accounts and if you have multiple bank accounts I recommend that you look at the type of banks big level you no know, big big um, national level regional bank and then a credit union and then number three once you have the business bank account make sure you make an appointment always high level nugget point with a small business banker so you can let them win your services and kind of tell you what they have to offer guys they literally will will, will be coming to you to send you money she actually already set up a follow-up appointment with me in two weeks and they don't even know me yet stranger danger all right guys so i'm about to jump off um because i don't even really know where i'm going because it's my first time here oh my gosh and i have to get gas okay <laughs> so this is my day so i said i wanted to jump on and kind of show you guys a little bit more of what the everyday looks like but also show you guys that i practice what i preach and give you guys some nuggets to take away have a super amazing monday on purpose Bye, y'all.